New this morning, we are celebrating a very important milestone for one of our breweries in the area, Front Street Brewery. We have Nate here joining us to talk about, I mean, really, I mean, 30 years. What does that feel like? Um, I mean, it's obviously it's older than me. So, <laughs> we, you know, we, we came in to it, um, you know, a couple years ago, obviously, thanks to Steve and Jenny. You know, they did everything. But, uh, yeah, 30 years, it's incredible. Yeah, and you guys have these events happening right now called Firkin Fridays. And I said Firkin. Firkin. Firkin Fridays. So mm -hmm. Talk about what that is and, and how that. So a Firkin is technically a quarter barrel cask. Okay. 10.8 gallons. Um, we usually use half that, called a pin. Okay. Um, Firkins were um, like cask condition ales, but nowadays breweries normally use them for like experimenting, infusing. Okay. Um, so today, we're going to be tapping our coffee kolsch using uh, Red Band's Costa Rican blend um, at 4 o'clock today for Mugs Club and 5 o'clock for, for everyone else. So I hope everyone enjoys it. Now, oh. forgive my, neg uh, my uh, ignorance, but what is a kolsch? Does it just mean that it's brewed with coffee? Um, technically, a kolsch can only be brewed in Cologne, Germany. Okay. Um, but we, you know, we did our kind of version. We added some honey malt to it and uh, you know, used a kind of authentic cool she's nice. so it's very very light um, you know low ABV mid fours you know really not too much bitterness there okay. easy drinker nice and and you had mentioned that you guys chose to go with red band coffee and chose a specific one how did you guys hone in on that one specific coffee I love red band so yeah you can't that's, go that's, wrong yeah that's and I love that's two why, small uh, businesses <laughs> coming together to do yeah, no, no preference over any other just you know really like red band coffee so awesome now when we go to Front Street, um, is this just going to be available at the tap room or is this also going to be available at the brew pub? Or? Only the tap room. Only yep. at the tap room. Okay, that's, hey, we'll take it any way we can do that. So, hey. should we try this? I, yeah, so this is the Kolsch, so this okay. is going to be the base. All right. Um, I didn't bring any of your coffee because we use it all and drank it. <laughs> you know so. what? All right. That's it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So, yeah, very light, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, a little light. bit of sweetness. Yeah. Okay. Um, Remind us again what, what we're tasting in there. Um, so there's going to be a lot of Pilsner malt and a little bit of honey malt kind of as the, uh, as the base. Not too much hops. We use Hollertau, but you don't get too much of it. Um, and basically just very light, crisp yeah. ale. It's very it. good. So, and, and are these all the same thing or are these just different things so I, that are happening? I brought these up. These are the, uh, we might have showed these before. These are the cans that we produce. Yeah. Uh, the newest one is our, our Goldilocks, which is our golden ale. Um, and hopefully we have a couple more coming this year. Okay, awesome. What else would you like to talk about for the 30 years? Any big plans for the future? Um, we definitely have plans. Yeah. Um, not sure if they are top we're secret yet. right now. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of. I want to give it all away. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I think this is this is amazing. I'm going to be stuff. finishing this as soon yeah. as we go to the break. But if you love this segment, you're going to love the show Brood that we have. It airs every Saturday, um, except for this Saturday. It's going to be airing at uh, 5 o'clock this Saturday. And we do have that full screen here for a second, and you can pop that up for them. Um, but be, again, because of the holiday, it's going to air at 5 o'clock, and it will also re-air Sunday at 9.30 on MyTV 8.3. You can also watch it wherever you stream WQAD, and you can also see episodes at BrewTV.com.